Welcome back to Baby Nuggets with Danielle. I hope things are going well for you and your precious little ones. Today, let's chat about introducing a bottle. Number one, we recommend offering a bottle to a breastfed baby between two and three weeks of age. That way, those first two weeks, they can get comfortable with their latch. For a non-breastfed baby who's already taking a bottle, the following nuggets will be really helpful for you too. Number two, I recommend the non-breastfeeding parent or caregiver to offer the bottle. Next, I recommend the bottle being offered at the same time every day. This will help the babies get into a rhythm and a routine with adjusting to a new way to take their milk. Number four, I encourage you guys to kind of mimic the cuddling or feeding pattern that the mom uses when you actually then feed the baby the bottle. Number five, I recommend using fresh breast milk when offering the bottle. Thawed breast milk does taste a tad bit different and you might want to wait to use that until the baby's used to the bottle after the first few weeks. Number six, we want to offer the bottle when the baby's a little bit drowsy and definitely when they're not too hungry. When we're offering the bottle, the baby doesn't know yet that the bottle will take away their hunger. So if we offer it to them when they're really hungry, they're gonna get very frustrated and they're gonna reject the bottle. So I encourage you to even try it sometimes right after they wake up from a nap where they're a little drowsy and their hunger hasn't fully kicked in yet. Number seven, I do recommend that the breastfeeding parent actually steps out of the home. Breastfeeding babies can smell their mom from up to 50 feet away. So when you're introducing that bottle, if they can smell the mom around somewhere, it can be really difficult to get them to take the bottle. So go ahead and go for a walk and let a caregiver, a partner, or another parent offer that baby the bottle. My next nugget is routine. Routine is really important for babies. They internalize it as a sense of safety and security, which enables trust. Trust is a very important milestone. In fact, it's the first socio-emotional milestone for babies. And the final nugget is, continue to offer a bottle every day. That will really decrease their chances of protesting the bottle in the future. I know this seems like a lot of information, but it will make that transition to offering a bottle much easier for you and your baby. Next time, we're gonna chat about introducing a pacifier, which is a huge lifesaver. I'll see you then.